So guys, if you've been using an iPad for years, then this is finally the moment we've all been waiting for. It looks like Apple is finally taking the iPad seriously with iPad OS 19, bringing the kind of improvements that many users have been demanding for a long time now. For years, Apple's iPad lineup has been incredibly powerful. We've seen iPads with M1, M2, M3, and even the brand new M4 chips. We've got models like the iPad Pro that can outperform many laptops, iPad Air models that are perfect for multitasking, and even the smaller iPad Mini that now packs the A17 Pro chip. And let's not forget the recently updated 11th generation, base iPad with the A16 chip. The hardware has never been the problem. The issue has always been the software. Until now, iPad OS has felt like a stretched out version of iOS. Functional, yes, but not quite the powerhouse OS you'd expect from. Such high-end hardware, but that's about to change iPad OS 19 looks like the turning point, and today we're diving deep into the four biggest changes expected to arrive with the update. These aren't just tweaks. They could completely change the way we use our iPads, but one. Productivity reimagined one of the biggest focuses of iPad OS 19 is on productivity. For years, users have been asking, if the iPad has the same chip as a MacBook, why can't it run more advanced apps? That question might finally be getting answered. With iPad OS 19, Apple is expected to make a major push in making more desktop class apps fully compatible with iPads. This means we may start to see professional-grade applications, not just watered-down mobile versions, becoming available and optimized for touch, Apple Pencil, and even keyboard trackpad combos. Imagine being able to run advanced editing, software, development tools, or full-featured productivity suites directly on your iPad with no compromises. iPad OS 19 could make this a reality by making universal app support stronger between iPad and Mac OS, something Apple has been slowly moving toward in the last few years. Smarter, simpler multitasking. Next up, let's talk multitasking. If you've ever tried to work with multiple apps at once on your iPad, you know it's not exactly the smoothest experience. Sure, Apple introduced Split View and Slide Over, but it can be clunky to use, especially if you're new to the platform iPad OS. 19 is expected to overhaul multitasking to make it far more intuitive. From what we're hearing, Apple may be introducing a more flexible windowing system, allowing you to arrange apps freely, just like on Mac OS. You might even see a proper desktop-style background environment with movable, resizable windows, a long-requested feature. This would finally give users the feeling of working on a true laptop replacement, especially when using the iPad with a magic keyboard or any Bluetooth keyboard trackpad combo. This improvement will be huge for students, creators, and professionals who rely on multitasking and want to streamline their workflow without having to buy a MacBook. Stage Manager 2.0, a real upgrade. Remember when Stage Manager was first introduced? It promised more flexible multitasking and window management, but let's be honest, it never quite delivered the seamless experience we hoped for. iPad OS 19 is rumored to bring what we can call Stage Manager 2.0, a true evolution of the original idea. This new version will likely include improved animations, better memory management, and smarter grouping of apps. You'll be able to snap windows into place more easily, switch between app clusters faster, and potentially even use multiple displays more efficiently. This will be particularly helpful for power users who want their iPad to act more like a desktop when docked. If Apple pulls this off correctly, Stage Manager 2.0 could become the central hub of multitasking for iPads going forward. Desktop mode with dock and menu enhancements. The final upgrade we're expecting with iPad OS 19 is related to how the iPad transforms when connected to accessories like a keyboard and trackpad. Apple may introduce a more desktop-like UI experience. Think along the lines of Mac OS, but still tailored to the iPad. Rumors suggest we might see a more refined dock, possibly even a persistent menu bar that changes dynamically based on the app in use. This would make navigation far easier and more efficient, especially when working on complex tasks or switching between applications. This desktop mode could automatically activate when a compatible keyboard and trackpad are connected, essentially turning your iPad into a mini Mac. It won't be a full macOS clone, 
but it will give users the kind of hybrid experience they've been wanting for years. As for the release date, we're expecting Apple to unveil iPadOS 19 at WWDC 2025, likely held on June 9th. That same day, the developer beta will be available for registered developers. However, if you rely on your iPad as a daily driver, it's not recommended to install that version. It'll probably be full of bugs. Instead, keep an eye out for the first public beta, which usually lands by late June. If you're cautious, the safest bet would be to wait until public beta 2 or 3, around mid to late July. The final public release of iPadOS 19 is expected in September 2025, alongside the new iPhone lineup. Final thoughts, a new chapter for iPads? With iPadOS 19, it finally feels like Apple is giving the iPad the love and attention it deserves. We're no longer looking at an oversized iPhone, we're looking at a potential laptop replacement that's flexible, powerful, and tailored for productivity. Whether you're a student looking for a portable workstation, a professional who needs desktop class apps, or just someone who loves experimenting with cutting edge tech, iPad OS 19 might be the game changer you've been waiting for.